how much they rally around the team as well. He understands that. And I think every NBA player at this point knows that Seattle needs a basketball team. And it's obviously over top of our heads, but you know, continue to uh, show support for the city of Seattle. I think that's what everybody needs to do. Kevin Jason Anderson with the Sacramento Beat. What, what does it say about the fans here to see all this Sonics gear 10 years after the team left? It shows that they're still holding on to, um, you know, what, you know, just that culture of basketball here. You know, you see so many great players from Seattle that make it to the NBA. You know, still feel a part of that basketball basketball community when you see that. You know, guys like Isaiah Thomas and Jamal Crawford. And, you know, I can just go down the line to Seattle players. And to not have an NBA team to watch those guys when they come back home, um, I think they want to just keep the name alive and make sure nobody forgets about Sonic basketball because it was some great times here um, when it comes to, uh, you know, just playing high level basketball in Seattle. Kevin, the. Uh the other shoes that you were wearing tonight that you walked in with, the white ones with the Sonics logo on the back, who, how did you have those made and what was the thought behind those? Uh, my Nike family made those for me for today. And um, I'm a big Cortez fan, so they hooked me up with some um, special edition kicks. And you know, I thought it was very fitting that I came here representing just the whole city. One last one. Last one, go ahead. Oh, uh, here, Ricky. Your year here was obviously it was a tumultuous time for the franchise, and you didn't have any influence in them to say. But I just wondered what stuck in your memory about your interaction with fans uh, in that year, especially towards the end when the departure came. Um, I just felt like everybody knew that it was uh, something was brewing with the with the team, with the franchise, and obviously, you know, um, it made it into the head papers, local papers, and everybody knew what was going on in the, just the business side of this thing. But, you know, I think uh, when they dra when Sam Presti drafted myself and Jeff, um, kind of gave us a, gave fans like a glimmer of hope of what's to come, the future, something they can kind of grasp onto. And they supported us from day one, and, they, you know, you see it now, they still do. And, um, you know, it was a, it was definitely a, a weird season, you know, as far as the relationship with the organization and the fans go. But once the ball was tipped, I, I felt like every fan um, understood what was important, and it was that basketball that was being played on the floor. And can't wait to see another team come here and call the city their home. Great, thank you. Appreciate that. And again, we'll have the former SuperSonics here about 6:45 or so. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I'll catch up in a bit. Yeah.